The first procedure is to identify the client and explain the procedure and place the client in a comfortable position, either sitting or supine position. In assessing the radical pulse, the first procedure is to check the radial pulse, position to client arms along the side of the body or across the upper abdomen with the client's wrist relaxed and apply light pressure with pads of the fingers and identify the falls. Look at the clock or watch and count the number of beats over 60 seconds. In assessing the applicable pulse, clean the earpiece of diaphragm of the stethoscope with alcohol first and expose the left side of the chest. Place the diaphragm over the PMI and listen to the normal S1 and S2 heart sound and count the beats for a full minute and place back patient's clotting. In assessing the brachial pulse, using a firm pressure with pads of forefinger and index finger, press the inner aspect of the antecubital fossa until you palpate the brachial artery and identify the pulse and count the beats for a full minute. In assessing the carotid poles, place your finger on the client's trachea and slide them to the side into the groove between the trachea and palpate the carodertary lightly and identify the pulse. In assessing the dorsalis pedis pulse, palpate the dorsalis pedis pulse by running the pads of your fingers up to the groove between the great and first toes to the top of the foot and palpate very light and identify the pulse. Assessing posterior tibial, press the inner side of the ankle below the medial malleolus and press down moderately and then increase the pressure until you feel the pulse and count the number of beats over 60 seconds. In assessing the popliteal pulse, press behind the knees in the middle of the popliteal fossa, press down moderately then increase pressure and count the number of beats over 60 seconds.
In assessing temporal pulse, press lightly the lateral and superior of the eye and identify the pulse.